Welcome to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for liking them and thank you for commenting on them. And thank you for sharing them on social media. I continue to be amazed by the number of people that are coming to my channel that I have done no promotion on at all except to just put the videos up. It's amazing to me. I, I don't know how it works, but people are watching, so I'll keep making them. As I mentioned in my last video where I uh, looked at Tom McDonald's song, Chrome, I've been wanting to do this one for a while. This is Dax, and the title of the song is God's Eyes. I've listened to it several times, so it's not new to me. might be new to you, I don't know. But to me, it's a great song. It has powerful words in it. And I'm probably going to stop this one several times so that you can hear the words. And I can talk about them. I've seen the devils. He walks with men on earth at different levels. I don't know. I don't know if you're aware of the devil or not. I don't know if you believe in the devil or not. I don't know if you've any done any research on the devil. But I have, and I can tell you that not only is he real, but he works in this world, in the hearts and minds of men, to corrupt the world and to corrupt your mind. The Bible says he walks about like a roaring lion, seeking whom he can devour. That is an accurate description of what the devil is. And... Dax obviously knows that because he says he has seen the devil's eyes. We serve, so he hates and medals and praise that we all burn and turn to rebels. He tried to get my soul, but I'll never settle. I walk this lonely road from the birth to ghettos. I'll take the gift bestowed and return a vessel. I am the one they chose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rebellious and always been sinner since birth. He knew that it would happen when he put us on this earth. We demonize religion, brought corruption to the church. We know the <laughs> brought corruption to the church. Boy, is that the truth? There's a reason why I don't go to any organized religion. Why I don't attend any church. It's because they've been so corrupted by the, by the devil and what the devil does in the world. And I need to explain that a little bit more. See, I've said this before. There's an old expression that you can't get in a pigsty without getting some on you. Well, the world is the devil's pigsty. And if you're in it, you're going to get some on you. And kind of hard not to be in the world because you're living here. You were born here. You're raised here. You live here. You'll die here. This is the world. And it's the devil's playground. And so you're surrounded by it. The Bible says that those of us who are born again are in the world, but we're not part of it. What it's talking about is the mental. How you keep your mind strong and focused on God so that you don't get corrupted by the influence of the devil. Even then, it's hard to do. Even if you're focused on God all the time, it's hard to do. Because we're human. We, we fall prey to all sorts of things constantly. And the devil knows that, and he's set up traps for us. He's Some people in the world... Are, are what's called born of the devil. They have sold their souls to the devil and they're working hard to promote the devil. 
But a lot of people are just influenced by the devil. They don't, many of them don't even know they are. They don't realize it. They probably don't even believe there is a devil, but there is. And he's influenced them in their lives so that they end up being something other than what they could have been, something other than what they might have dreamt they would be, something other than what they could have accomplished. But that's that's the devil. That's how he works. Everything, but we don't know the worth. We spend all of our time idolizing false prophets. Comparison's the enemy. Stop watching others' pockets. The social <laughs> idolizing false prophets. So true. Systems broken. We divide on every topic. They fabricate the truth, and we all monetize the gossip. We know the problems and we see them, but don't want to change. We're desensitized to every issue because they let us profit off of people's pain. And it's dystopian edge. We are the game that he plays, and all the evil, deceitful people should shake our face. I never seen God's eyes, but I've seen the devils. He walks with man on earth at different levels. He knows the king we serve, so he hates and meddles and prays that we all burn and turn to rebels. He tried to get my soul, but I'll never settle. I walk this lonely road from the burbs to ghettos. I'll take the gift bestowed and return a vessel. I am the one they chose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our God is an awesome artist. In perilous times, we seek His grace as the world and the times we face turn fake in the face of the devil's mirages. In the midst of the pain, disdain, and the media's push of all this garbage, I pray that you keep your faith as the whole world breaks and the real get disregarded. It's about time that we take it back. The weight's too great for the camel's back. Strong men made life an easy task, and now the weak men feminize every act. In the church, in the workplace, every class, on the television screen, in the state of rap, all virtues gone and it's fade to black. We in hell on earth and it's gone collapse. Integrity is lost, eating nothing. We incentivize gods on the way the revolution will be televised. Gone too far, don't know if we can rectify it. Those gates we will testify. So I'm saying it now for they counter it clockwise. We are living in times where the wicked is all right. The intelligent fall while the stupid is all drive and the real get pushed aside. Yeah. I, never... I don't even know how he does that. That's it's incredible the speed at which he can deliver lyrics that have tremendous meaning. It just blows my mind. I, I'm, he's the most incredible artist I've ever seen in my lifetime. He really is. No offense to Oliver Anthony. <laughs> but I'd love to meet him someday and get to talk to him about God because I believe this man is walking with the Father, and I believe he gets inspiration from God for his songs, just like Oliver Anthony does. And his voice and the the, the cording that he uses and the, the music itself is just so compelling, and it's, it's incredible how much it draws you in and you want to listen to the words. You want to hear what he has to say. And what he has to say is so powerful, so strong, so incredible. God's eyes, but I seen the devils. He walks with men on earth at different levels. He knows the king we serve, so he hates and meddles and prays that we all burn and turn to rebels. He tried to get my soul, but I'll never settle. I walk this lonely road from the birth to ghettos. I'll take the gift bestowed and return a vessel. Such an incredible song. I, I just, now, it makes me speechless. The words are so fantastic. They're so true. They're so incredibly accurate. I'll put a link to the song and I'll also put a link to his lyrics in the description so that you can see them for yourself and and think about what he's singing because it's it's incredible it really is I, I mean i keep using that word over and over again but i don't know another year word to use it's incredible it's just amazing the lyrics are amazing his singing is amazing the the tone the chords the way he puts it all together it's it's just the best it really is the best I don't know what else to say. As always, I pray that you will prosper and be in health and live a long life, that God will keep you safe, and that he will do the same for everyone that you love. 
And I pray that you will be anxious for nothing, but in all things, through prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, you will make your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Vietnam era vet out.